In 2011, a humble Half-Life 2 mod appeared on ModDB called The Stanley Parable, created by Cake Bread, aka Davy Raiden. It was a rather unique mod as it didn't contain any shooting mechanics and basically was a walking simulator where you have to do exactly what the narrator tells you to do. Or don't do that and piss off the narrator to such an extent that he might try to kill you. It was such a great success with the community that in 2013 it got a remake on Steam simply called The Stanley Parable, developed by Galactic Cafe. It included greatly improved visuals, new endings and much, much more. It also was a pretty great success and beloved by the community for years and years. But in 2018, something new popped up. A trailer for another version of the Stanley Parable named the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. And after years of development and delays, it finally came out yesterday. And I took some time to play it. And now, I really want to talk about it. So let's get into it. Lambda Generation. I think most people in this community know about the Stanley Parable and most people have probably already played it at this point. You play as Stanley as you walk through an empty office building trying to figure out where the hecking heck your co-workers went. But don't worry, you won't have to go through all of this alone because the narrator will be accompanying you at all times. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You can do exactly what the narrator tells you to do and you'd get a decently satisfactory ending for this short story. Or you can completely disobey the narrator and try to forge your own path through the story while the narrator tries to sabotage you hilariously. The story takes many twists and turns from then on out. This new ultra deluxe edition of the Stanley Parable aims to polish up the now almost 10 year old game with slight visual improvements, new content and endings, and more. Not to mention that you can now also play the game on consoles. And yes, it's even on a Nintendo Switch. This is the first time console players were ever exposed to Stanley and his riveting story. So, how are all these new features holding up? Is this really a worthy re-release of this game? Well, in my opinion, yes. Honestly, I can never have enough Stanley Parable. So when I heard a new release of the game with new content was coming out, I couldn't have been more excited about it. And after having played through it and witnessed some of the new endings already, I can definitely say that the new content certainly does not disappoint. If you've been wanting more of the Stanley Parable, like me, then this is absolutely your jam. As for the graphical improvements, there aren't honestly that many. The game has now been ported over to Unity while it used to run on the Source engine. Honestly, I can barely notice the difference sometimes between the two versions of the game. The new Ultra Deluxe version has improved shadows and reflections for the most part. Some of its lighting and effects might look a little better, but most everything else looks exactly the way it looked on Source kind of makes you wonder why they ported it over to another engine in the first place. Maybe it was for ease of development reasons, better multi-platform support for the console versions, were they just sick of the Source engine? Oh, I mean, probably can't blame them for that to be honest, I mean, Source is an ancient engine after all. So with all that being said, just don't get this new version of the game with the hopes to see a major graphical upgrade, because you'd be disappointed. Heck, some textures are even AI upskilled and they look, um, not that great to be honest, especially up close. But all in all, most of the game looks absolutely fine. For this type of game, graphics aren't incredibly important anyway, and it does a good enough job for the most part. Now, what's the new content like exactly? Well, I can write about it right here, or I can just show you, because I think that's probably the best way to tackle this thing. Hope you're all ready for a live gameplay segment, because it's about to commence. Spoiler alert, of course, I'll be showing off some endings, so if you don't want to see that, skip ahead to this timecode on the screen right now. Alright, let's begin. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, 
he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, well, so far this looks exactly like um, the game on the Source engine. Like, it really looks nearly no different. Even all the assets look uh, exactly like how they did in the Source engine. Let's actually just play um, right now this, this, this one playthrough. Um, let's do the actual real, like, ending that the narrator intended for. Broom closet, hell yeah. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No reason to still be here. Well, I have my reasons, narrator. I'm As looking is, around. He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Oh, come on, narrator. I'm, I'm looking around. Look at this awesome place. Is there an actual broom closet ending now? Because they did add like a bunch of new endings. A secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. <laughs> Yet incredibly, I have remembered it. The buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. I still remember the code number. after all these years. He stepped into the newly it's opened so engraved into my mind somehow that I just managed to put it in. Two, eight, four, five. Wow. Kind of tells you what kind of impact this game really had on me since playing it. So far, though, like, I haven't really noticed any, like, huge changes to the game. It all looks pretty much the same, except for maybe some, like, new graphical little things. But other than that, like, this is... Yeah, they didn't change this ending no, at all. He refused to believe it. Let's disable the controls! It Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This well, good on Stanley. Right oh, and we're starting over immediately. Woo! All right. Input received. Very nice. I forgot what it did. <laughs> I was wondering, how would I get to the new content? Well... Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. That is true. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Wow. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I want to see. I can. I a good. No, I can't go in there. I can't go in there either. No, oh, let's go into the elevator. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure. What are you it's talking about? The beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. This is a totally new elevator, dude. It's awesome. It's not going. Um, is it broken? What's going oh, no. on here? Should oh no. We... Should we be moving somewhere or up? Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, here finally, we go. At long last, it's on to the new content. I've yeah. never been more ready. Let's do it. No, me neither. Let's go. Let's go. New content. Yes, I want to see the new content. It's... All right. The jump All right, circle? Let's see. It's the jump circle. I can jump now? I can jump. I can jump. Guys, I can finally jump. Oh! You weren't able to jump before. Oh, this is exciting. I'm jumping so much. I love jumping. Hell yeah, there we go. That's a really low resolution zero right there. They might want to <laughs> fix that or something. And I can't jump anymore. What a letdown. I'm ready for whatever it is. It's, uh... A uh, catwalk. I, lo I love catwalks. Let let's go. Let's go walk over the catwalk. 
Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. They moved the game to Unity me, for this. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Uh, oh, well, I don't really have much of a choice. Oh, uh, let's go, then. Uh... Uh... The, what? Um, uh, this, this is not, this is different. The, what have, uh, what is, um... Okay, okay, let's roll with this. Okay, well, um... Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got yeah, it was me uh, kind of a letdown. And how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just what our little secret. Fuck? Take a look. What is this place? This is definitely brand new. Hello? I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences wow. like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. All right, what's over here? Don't forget the Stanley Parable. An old all Steam meant page. Something. Oh, the waste. Why is it in Russian, though? Why is this a Russian page? Oh, the Stanley Parable demo! God, I remember that. That was like its own little thing. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a oh, Unity no. thing? Oh, God, no! Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online oh. video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Yeah, I am not so sure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I, I know what's coming now. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny. What's this one to, to play say? This game. Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? A skip button. Are you kidding me? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Not a skip button. I don't think... Is that really necessary? Can I go out again? For some reason, I can. But I don't think and it's a... And here it okay. is. Oh. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the yeah, players have been look behind for, this thing. And I'm very it's the San Stanley Parable, so no there might be something behind it, but there's not. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. Oh. oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue on the... <laughs> well there, Sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the yes. power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I... There we go. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's Damn, not unendurable the, the door is even gone. Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? He demonstrated. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 <laughs> hours! Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. Why is it I've gone? I've it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. Why, did, no why, why was the door there's gone? Just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Already been doing. 
Right. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. Days. Yeah, I think months. I'm I lost just going to skip this. Blur- Don't want to have that conversation. Narrator? Are you here? Narrator? Let's press it again. Let's see what happens. What? Oh, the battery of the smoke alarm needs to be replaced now. Let's just skip in time again. They didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. I'm back. Enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, lack of accountability. No, it's the. Skip ahead real quick. And he's gone again. All right, skip in time. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. All right, well, skip the boob. Hello? Narrator? Oh, what the hell? Oh, there you go! There's something here now. Well, just like I predicted. I'm just gonna skip again. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, okay. Skip again? Uh. Oh. Hello? Anyone? I guess we're gonna skip again. Anyway, skip. Oh, wow. That's very nice. Look at that. We have a little garden. Wow, that's that's cool. And the garden's dead. Welp. What are these noises? This is actually starting to become a little bit creepy, isn't it? Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I gotta skip again. Uh. What the fuck? Okay, I don't want to skip again. This is just gonna get worse. Isn't it? This is just... Alright, alright, alright. Skip. What the fuck? Hello? Anyone? Oh, fuck. Hello? What happened to this place? Well, um... Damn. D damn that was legit awesome that ending that was great this video is gonna write itself just how interesting all of this is new new content okay oh, well. good you notice my sign yes i, I have I something did. very exciting to show you to oh my gosh all right, all right. This looks really cool, to be honest. Let get a quick screenshot of that. Well, let's see what's uh, the reassurance bucket. What is it? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, wow. Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. 
As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. All right, I'll give it a try. Why not? <laughs> what? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think yeah, that just kind of nice, actually. It's has made well you animated. the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. Yeah, nice. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Oh. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. And that was my experience so far with the Stanley Parable. As you can tell, I had great fun with it. And if this seems like something you'd enjoy too, then go ahead and grab yourself a copy. The game is 33% off for folks who already own the original game on Steam. So what do you think of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition? Do you love it? Or hate it? Or both at the same time? Those are all valid responses. Let us know in the comments below how you feel. We're always reading them. Ultimately, I think that the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition is a fine refinement of the old formula. It doesn't change things too much and is just, well, more of the things you really liked about the previous game. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way.